Right, hello everybody. I thought I would do a um, little project as this is gathering dust on my side. I bought this, what, two years ago with the thought of doing something like this because um, I, I've, I've seen them all done up with all bits of art on and oh my gosh, I just thought how lovely they would look on your side. As t I, personally, I think there's far too many in here, but we shall see. I just thought once a week, we'll do a little, like my Try It Tuesday, we'll do one little piece of art. Now, if you don't, don't go out and buy one of these. You can get the little the box of index cards or you can just use a piece of card, yeah, and put two holes on it, in it, and put it on a ring, you know, put it on some rings. Just, just so that we create a little piece of art, maybe every week, you know, that's fun, or do three or four together, yeah. And I might like do three or four together and then separate them if you know what I mean. Sort of, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I just thought it's nice to try and, you know, get a little bit arty. Um, I, because as you know, I love my digitals. I use them in my work all the time, which I, of course I'm going to continue to do. But I also like it, it mixing with a bit of mixed media and having a play because I like playing with paint and everything and I'm not really art journaling anymore I might paint a face or do a page once a month something like that um so this way I get a little bit of best of both worlds I mean you might say well, how could we use them in our journals or whatever you know it's not really for that but you still can do you know what I mean these you know, there's, um, I have a die actually, they're exactly the same size as this. So they're, they are out there, you can get them. But like I say, it doesn't, it's not necessary. The, the, the boxes has got the, the little file tab, you know, um, a bit more like this, the, these ones here. I don't know whether you can see that, a bit like that. So they could just be the square piece with a, you know, with a bit on the top, and they could all fit in one of those plastic boxes. Um, they're readily available. These aren't so much, but I got it and I, I just saw paint over it and these all sort of arty things for inspiration. And I just loved the look of it. And I just wanted to do it up and wanted to work on bits of art and then have this in my studio. So it's all for fun. Yeah. So if you want to join me, then each week I'm going to do something. And what size is this? It's very small, so I just thought it was a nice little small project. Hopefully, you know, you, you use what you've got. You don't go out and buy stuff just because I'm using it. It's because I use it because I've got it. I just don't go and buy new stuff. Just maybe have a theme that week. Something like that, you know. I'm a little bit like I wing it most of the times. So, there's my ruler. I think, oh, I'll do that today. And, you know, that's just the way I work, but... I know some of you like a bit more structure. I would say, well, it's, it's actually three and seven eighths, to be honest, but you could do that for by two and a half. Okay, so here we are, piece of art. And I also, I um, mean, I was talking with Yvonne as well. Um, we're thinking of doing ATCs as well. Just, you know, many pieces of art just to have a um, bit of fun with them as well. So we'll get on with today's project. Oh, these are so thin. It's like paper, these ones. I mean, absolutely rubbish, to be honest. Really rubbish. So I'm gonna do three. I'm, I'm random, I'm not starting at A. I can do them up. Should we do one of them up as well? I just hope they go back on once you've done all the work on them. <laughs> So I thought it'd be nice to do like spring. Oh, perhaps an S. But then I can add that. That's okay. For spring. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll do that, I think. But I would add this myself anyway, but I might as well use the S, might I? I'll put that one in there. Yeah, I think there's far too many on there, so. Uh, yeah, these are all got plastic. I don't know any of that, but I'm hoping once I cover them and everything, they'll be thick enough. Yeah, it's 
so thin. I might even get gel paint out, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, this is very thin. I might have to back them, actually. Okay, so what I've done, because there's so many in that on that wheel thing, um, I've stuck three together. And now I've got, you know, I feel like this is a bit more substantial time we work with it because it was literally paper thin. So um, these are these are fine. Um, I'm going to gesso that totally. I'm going to gesso that. I'm only using my gel plate as a palette. You don't have to. It's only so that I don't, you know, get it on here really. So you can put your gesso on how you want, but you don't even have to gesso if you haven't got any. You know, you can cover yours or do something with it. Um, I shall brush it on this one and I will. I want it quite random on the others because I want to tea stain them. So if I just say first and then tea stain, some I want things to pick up a bit darker. So, so I'm just going to literally do that. So this is my very old one and I use it just as a palette, really. Nothing wrong with that. It's, it's a good one, actually. That will have to be done a couple of times. I should have sanded, really, because this is quite shiny, but I'll sand in a minute, actually. See, I'm forgetting already. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just... I could do with another one, really. Never mind. I'm leaving myself enough space. My... Okay. some on there yeah yeah my brain is a bit mucky so it doesn't matter this is only the foundation layer so it really doesn't matter and I will sand that one down so see that I'll dry that off, sand it down, and then reapply it because I forgot it was shiny. I also, is I must you know, we'll only do one up. You you only have to do one. It's just that I thought I would prep a few. So just, you know, and I'll, I might only just do one. It really depends. I want to keep these down to about, no, well, half an hour, really. Just a little quick video every week and see what's happening you know just do a little prompt or something which i'm going to use the word spring because i'm way into spring at the moment so i can't believe i forgot to sa say about the sand in there gives it a bit of something to cling to um just so oh. yeah because if i'm gonna use a bit of paint I, I might as well do up a few so i just thought it was a way of you joining me and i'm joining you and i'm still doing my little bits of art you know that it's quite important to me because like I don't journal I tend to two pieces of all art for my story you know I actually don't like writing at all anymore I don't like reading much either <laughs> I used to read books all the time. I just, I don't know, it just irritates me now. I like flipping through, um, you know, art magazines or my art books. But, yeah, I used to have a really good library of books. Right, okay. And I definitely need another coat, so don't want to see any of that blue. 
might be three coats. Just got, sorry, I've got some music paper here, so I will put a spare on that and roll it over. That's far too much, I think. That's getting better. Yep, got a nice little texture on that now. Okay, yep, love and ease. They're all quite sturdy now. So, a bit of tea stain first. Just get rid of that paint there. I haven't got, I think this is a bit of Tim Holtz Spitzy spray. So, Oh, strange, that's always worked. This one, oh well. I'm just going to put a bit on now, it's really watered down. Oh, no, actually, I think that one's coffee. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I think it is. I can just sort of smell it a bit. So, just water down coffee. Okay. paper that I had. I'm not using this, I'm just doing, this is the sort of thing I do. Just instead of wasting it.
if you haven't got gesso and you want to put a bit of texture onto your cards use some household paint not gloss right some matte household paint what you would paint the walls with and, and if you go for like um an off-white or even a white you know if you want a true color to go on the top you know i'm putting tea stain but it doesn't matter then keep to your whites but you know if you've got a bit of a household paint spray it on or brush it on it's fabulous all right nothing wrong with it i've done up some scrapbook papers like that and they were uh, they were the best i've done actually i loved them and just household paint over the top and then i used them and it was they turned out really fabulous right so i'll get these dry and then i come back okay they're all dry i'm going to use spritz okay now again i've had this you know i do say this all the time what i use i tend to use is I mix them myself, I use bits of this, I use bits of that, I because I just play all the time, okay? If I use a specific, so specific, a specific <laughs> thing, I usually say, like, um, because these pots here aren't what they, what's inside, okay? This is the original um, Lindy's sprays, but the sprays are good, and I've had these, gosh, well, it's got to be 10 years, I expect. Um, and that is, I think that is the Lindy's in there. That, you know, that one's definitely, because that's a new packaging. And I haven't, if anything, I'll take that and put it into another one, but leave the original in there. Okay, but I'm going to use that today. But that's the three colours. I'm using blue, pink and a yellow. There we go, and it's leaking, so there we go. I'm not even sure whether this one... Oh, yeah, it does spray. So. Okay, right. You don't want to mix the colours too much until they're dry, if you know what I mean. I actually want these more um, like that. Okay, and saw me do that card for tea, and I'm I'm literally just sort of going to do a bit of that. Okay, and I'm going to get these dry, and then I'm going to overlay with a blue. I don't, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> don't know how it's going to end up. So, but I will only do one. Like I said, I'm just doing three because of the paint around and everything. <laughs> if you haven't got sprays, um, water down some. Of um acrylic and then um, that's fine you know really here so you can make your, or computer ink if you've got any of those oh i want a bit blue <laughs> i want my blue yeah no, i'm not gonna spray it sort of i want more drips And don't forget, when blue mixes with the yellow, it creates green. But that's the sort of what I like anyway. Okay, I, do, I actually, when I'm doing this, I come up with the idea. I, do you know what? I never think things through. I'm terrible. Um, I thought, what well, because I've, you know, done all these, but I am only going to do one. Perhaps um, that month, you know, if I start off doing the backgrounds for, say, four, all right, and then that will be all five, just in case there's five weeks in that actual month, because sometimes it works out like that. Um, then we've got one to do every week, yeah? 
so I think yeah that's, I think that's a good idea sorry I just put a bit of drips on that as well and and then I'm gonna drip some pink as well but I'm just seeing if there's any in there first okay just a bit more and I will on here as well so you might see that made into a tag at some point <laughs> who knows I'm doing, adding a bit of pink to the background as well <laughs> this I will I will make something out of that that's why I'm using it I thought oh I need a bit more colour on there yep okay they're all dry okay and i'm just gonna pick one i don't know uh this one okay and that's the and then i'll put all the others back for a few more weeks yeah At the end of the week the end of the month i might do that up <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we shall have fun anyway okay looking at it love it needs green okay because um i'm seeing more it's still spring light, but it's too it's a little bit too pink if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think I need a bit of green. Okay, this is oh what one's this? Twisted citron. Which is quite concentrated. Right. Okay. Um yeah, I'm just watering it down a little bit. It's a little bit too concentrated. Fabulous, but I just want it more muted. A bit yellow in. ah that's better okay right i'm not wasting all that as you know okay like that okay um the bit of music paper let's mop up that mm -hmm. It's all dry. Just give a bit more of a greeny tinge to it. Not too much, but that's enough for me. Um, right, what I'm going to do now is a bit of background stamping. Um, am I going to? Yes, I am going to use black. I am. Quite heavy for spring, I know. But, okay, I'm going to just do, yep, yeah, okay. This one here, it's one of the Tim Holtz ones, a French one. I think this one will come with butterflies, I think. I, I'm, I'm not actually even worrying about if I don't get all that. Okay, I'm not inking up perfectly either. Yeah, so, so that it miss bits. Yeah. Okay. I want something down there, so... So, okay, I'm just going to see if there's anything on there. Okay, not a lot. What's that on there? And that I thought something. It's got to be that way. I'm quite fancy framing that like that, so... No, if I actually stamp this one, so right, okay, it's gonna be all right. Okay. Okay, 
printed and just sort of utilising the stamp. And a bit of a straight line up there. So I will just sort of pick a bit like that and fill in. Okay. And a little bit over there. Okay, so I've framed it a bit now. Yeah. Mount up. Right, I'm going to ink around the edges of that. Because I've got some white bits, so... I mean, all what I'm doing here, you can do with acrylic paint and paint them, you know, which I will do. I will paint some in weeks to come. You know, if you haven't got um, like a border stamp, I'm sure you can find something, you know, if you've got stamps, of course, you know, some people might not have them. Well, I can't, you know, I've got loads, so I will be using them. So because it's my way of using what I've bought, which I like. Okay, right, now, do I go? Ooh, it's a bit samey now, isn't it? See how it's hidden the pink? So, oh, that's okay. We can always add a bit more. I mean, it's a massive butterfly, if you know what I mean. And it, but I quite like it. <laughs> and I might back it onto card so it's really thick. Yeah, link it all up and everything. And I might even do some sort of stitching there. I need a bit more pink though. I really do. I need a bit of pink over here. So. We just do that. Need to back that. Might have a bit of file folder handy. Still very yellow, <laughs> very yellow, and the blue's gone. Where's the blue? <laughs> I want my blue. I need my blue. So, oh, guess what? Okay, well, um, that's reactivated the the other stuff that was there, which is fine, but. Okay, so I'm going to just glue down the centre of that because I'm going to stitch and then create my antennas. If not, you can draw them on or put some wire. Looks cool. Like I'm saying, I'm trying, going to try and keep these to half an hour. So. Come slightly over that. I don't mind that. Okay. I'll stitch it and then put a word there. And I'm, I like it. You know, I think I would have liked to have most probably seen this white, which I might do another one do similar to what I've done and then do a white border there 
I think that would make me feel more like spring, but hey ho, that's the way it's gone, and I'm going to live with it, all right? That's still better than a plain piece of paper, and we've learned something on the way, yeah? So that's what I find quite important. I'm just going to put spring, black springtime. I've got that word here somewhere. It's just one of the little ones that I got that as a freebie, so that's just going to go there. Yeah, I've just got to wait for that to dry before I stitch it. But it's made a start, do you know what I mean? And that's made me feel good because I've actually made a start on this. You know, we're going to develop and grow within the, you know, we're, we're doing them every week or whatever. Okay, here we go. I've done that. And what I do, um, I, forgot, I forgot to run the video, is I just put a little tiny bit of glue on my finger and I run it just along there so it sort of just sticks down okay so i've now made my antenna i think some people have actually knotted the ends which looks fantastic but i haven't got the patience for that <laughs> not with my fingers <laughs> i think that would look great but that's fine all right okay I'll just stick that on and we're done and we've made a start. I was so like humming and hawing whether to do this. And do you know what? I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I thought, well, it's good for me to do it. It's something that I wanted to do. So I've done it. Okay. That's it. And it's going in there. I go and get it. Oh, on the backs, I thought we could just actually um, tea stain, or well, which mine is. That's okay. Which I could write a little note of the date and everything on there. Okay, and uh, it's going in there. So and number one, I should write, shouldn't I? Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I will forget. I won't say week. I'll put week one, number one, because I might, you never know, I might actually say, might actually um, do some more, you know, in the week. And write the date, which I have no idea what it is. Um, 27th of February. So that's 27th. 2021 there we go and you could write a little note about yourself or what you've done that day but no <laughs> that is about as far as i go <laughs> um oh i've made a start i want i want this all painted as well and i know it's plastic so I've got to do something but now don't you think that looks better <laughs> than that <laughs> And we made a start. Look at that. Now, these are going to be good. So here, we could have a little um, a grommet with a dangle coming down those. And that's going to look quite nice. Not too dangly, though, so it touches the floor. But there we go. I hope you can see that. There we go. Yay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will. It's going to be quick projects, hopefully, for each one okay and we just we live with what we do okay and it's going in there even if they turn out horrendous they're still going in there <laughs> and hopefully we've learned something by doing it okay well thank you very much everybody and i'll speak to you soon Bye bye